Okay, so today I'm going to be programming in Visual C Sharp, and this is actually the web page for um, where, for the Visual C Sharp um, Studio um, Express Edition, which is free. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just click here to install. Um, I'm not going to do that today because it's a lot of time that I'd have to put into that, and I already have it installed. I'll put this link right here in the description and if you speak a different language you can always choose that over here. So I'm gonna just, I've got Visual Studio up and I'm gonna get started. So this is the Visual um, C Sharp Express Edition for 2010. Let me go File, New Project. Now today I'm gonna be showing you graphics and most people for a first uh, tutorial would do something like Hello World but um, I'm, I don't really like Hello World. I mean, it's all right, but it's just sort of lame. I'm just gonna jump right in, do something cool, um, catch your interest. Hello World, not very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna call this project Graphical. It's gonna be a Windows form application. So that's gonna give you a little form thing like this, you'll see. Here's the design form right here. This is what you use to build your application, or at least design how it looks. So over here we have the toolbox, and I don't want that to keep popping in and out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and station that for now. Now I'm gonna go up here, and I pull the button off, drag it to about right there, and I wanna be able to see all this, so I'm just gonna drag this back this way, like so. All right, so this is called form one. You can actually change that if you want to down here. Call it graphics or whatever. This button, you can go here, go up to the top, and change what's called in the code and also the display text. It's different. So I'm just going to change the display text since I'm just using one button, so I don't need to be real specific on the name and the code. It won't get too terribly confusing. We're going to call this draw. Well, not call it, but change the text to say draw. You can resize it in just about any way you want, whatever, you know. All right, then we're going to hit double click this, and we come to the code. This is um, the, the class that inherits from form, which is what designs this thing here. Um, this is a form. So inside of here, we have the form and its analyzation component, which I can go into later, but not now. Says that's quite a bit of code, and I don't really want to explain that. So when we double click on a button like this, like I did, it automatically does it for an on click event. So every time you click, the code that's in between these two brackets will actually run. So first thing I'm going to do is just um, designate some variables here. So we'll go graphics, uh, g, just call it g, actually I want a lowercase g, um, just personal preference. And then we need a rectangle, and we'll call that r, pretty easy. Now we go down here, we're going to put that in as um, g equals create, graph, create graphics that's a method so it's got to end in these two little parentheses all right and then we go r equals new rectangle and we want an x and y position so we're gonna go ahead and go with 20 so it's offset a little bit from the edge and 20 and width of say 100 and another 100 Right, so we got uh, graphics defined and the rectangle defined. Rectangle is just like a square part on the screen. So starting at this position in pixels and going for this many out vertic uh, well, horizontally and then this many down vertically. Um, no, I don't, I don't want that. Okay, sorry, just a little pop up. All right, then the next part is to get it to draw. So we're going to go g.draw, 
there's a bunch of different things here, but I'm just going to show rectangle. Rectangle, since I built a rectangle. Oh yes, and another thing I'll need is a pen. So, pen P. And that tells it what color and what thickness and whatnot. So we can go P washi. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. It's fine there. P equals new pen. Now, the new um, the new signifier or whatever you call it. I'm not too big on technical terms. Basically, says it's not one that's already been used. It's just a new original pen. All right, so we go here. We're gonna go with the first option of have, using a brush. So we're gonna go brushes. Give us a list of all the brushes. Bunch of different colors here. We're just gonna go with dark blue. Okay, got that done. Now here it's gonna ask us for a pen and a rectangle. The pen is the color and the width that it wants to draw. Rectangle is where. So we're gonna go P for the pen and R for the rectangle, like that. Now we can go ahead and test that. You hit this little button to start debugging, creates executable, and then runs it. So we hit draw, and we got our dark blue rectangle up here. It's now, if it was at zero, zero, right there for the X and Y, you would actually draw it up here. But I do 20, so it's a little bit off from the side. Now, we get a little bit more advanced, and um, change this to have a little bit more control. So we're gonna make a method, and you'll understand what a method is after I make it. Okay, public void. This part tells type, and if there's no type, it's called void. Um, draw method. You don't have to say method, you can name it whatever you want. And then inside of here, you go like this. Now, this part you can design, uh, designate um, necessary variables to be used, um, or classes. So uh, we're going to need uh, a brush in here. So brush, and we'll call it B. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab this, copy it right into there, get rid of this, and then go draw method in here. And then brushes dot. We'll go with um, chocolate because I like chocolate. There we go. Now what this did is it converted it from just extra code to a set of code here that can be used over and over again. Um, so I could do 100 draw methods and now I only have to type one line instead of having to type one, two, three, four lines. Another thing I want to do here is see this brushes B. This defines what B is equal to. So B is equal to brushes.chocolate, so the chocolate color. Now here we already have a brushes.darkblue, we're going to change that to a B. So whatever we put here is going to be put in there. Right? Now we can test that out. There we go. And that doesn't really look like chocolate. That kind of looks like brownish orange. So that's disappointing, but whatever. Alright. Now we're going to do one last thing. And that's drawing it to an image and then to a picture box. So we go over here, down here, we're going to take a picture box, put it on the screen, you know, make whatever size we want. Go here. We're going to need um, to change this graphics to um, the picture, so, but we also need a bitmap. What that is is basically an image. So we're going to go bitmap B. I have your BTM because we don't want to have it mixed up with this B here. It's equal to, um, actually, I won't define it yet. I'll define it in here. So, after the rectangle, because we're going to use the rectangle to define it, we're going to put um, its definition. So, BTM is equal to um, new bitmap. And then we're going to say, um, let's see, I think it's number two, nope, so it's five, okay, width and height, so we're going to go r, talking about the rectangle, dot, width, and r, talking, uh, dot, height, 
So it's gonna set its height from the size of from the size of this rectangle here. And we're gonna change this, bring it back to zero, zero because the uh, BTM, well BTM which is bitmap, is gonna actually start its corner at zero zero. So if we do twenty it'll be drawn off center and we don't want that. Alright. So then graphics needs to be changed. So we go equals graphics dot from image ETM. -E and we need to move this graphics line underneath the where we define the bitmap because it's using it and we want it to be defined before it tries to use it in here. All right, and then here we're going to do um, picture box dot image. Well, picture box one is what that picture box is called. Move that out. Image is equal to, and then we're going to go btm, and then we're going to put that above it so it draws it and then it shows. And it should show it in the picture box. So we're going to go and run that. So draw. Oh, it cut off the edges. Now, the reason it cut off the edges is because the rectangle and the bitmap are the same size. And when it draws a rectangle, you can't always get it right on the same pixel since uh, you can't really put a, you know, a dot in between a pixel because the pixels display dots. So it actually is on one on the outside. So it's too far over on the image and it's not displayed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to BTM and go plus one so we have a little bit of extra space and that should fix it. Go like this. Yeah, there we go. There it is. And now this is where the picture box is on the form. I can show you that right here. I actually set a, a background color other than this one so you can actually see it where it is. So you can see it now. And there we go. Now, there's some settings on uh, the picture box over here. We can choose that size to zoom, and that way it'll draw it at whatever size we have it. So watch. Oh wait, do I have any? Okay, I don't have any set on that. So we grab this, go to properties, and it's anchors, and we need to do these two anchors. All right, we go like this, and check this out. We hit draw, and we grab this, actually resize that inside the picture box which is kind of cool alright now so I've shown drawing to the image shown how to draw it and how to define all of the variables you need to use to draw uh, and show you how to use methods now, every time you call this method like that it'll draw whatever you want um, we'll actually just run this code and the last thing I'm going to show you is different events so we're going to take this picture box and we're going to go on mouse enter and on mouse leave so that's underneath this little lightning strike event thing here we go um, mouse leave and we're going to go back here double clicking just adds it to the code so we go mouse enter all right it's got these two on a mouse um, enter and just copy that from there Let's leave. We're gonna have these actions happen, and we're also gonna set this here so that it updates. And for the mouse leave, we're gonna make it go to dark blue, go back to dark blue, and then the other one will go to chocolate. All right. So mouse enters, draws it. Mouse leaves, dark blue. Kind of cool. All right. Well, that's all for today and I will probably be doing more in the future. So check it on occasion for new updates, and that's all.